ஸ்மிருதி ஸ்மிருதி புராணானாம் ஆலயம் கருணாலயம் நமாமி பகவத் பாதசங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் அபார கருணா சிந்தும் ஞானதம் சாந்தரூபிணம் ஸ்ரீச்சந்திரசேகர குரு பிரணமாமி உதான் மகம் ஸ்மிருதி புராணானாம் ஆலயம் கருணாலயம் நமாமி பகவத் பாத சங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் சதா சிவசமாரம்பாம் சங்கராச்சாரிய மத்தியமாம் அஸ்மதாச்சாரிய பர்யந்தாம் வந்தே குரு பரம்பராம் வித் அபண்டன் பிளஸிங்ஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் ஆச்சாரிய சுவாமிஜி வி ஹேவ் பீன் ஏபிள் டு சக்சஸ்ஃபுல்லி கம்ப்ளீட் ஒன் மந்த் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஜேர்னி ஆஃப் வந்தே குரோர் மண்டலம் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் லெக்சர்ஸ் ஆன் ஆதிசங்கர பகவத் பாதா ஸ்தோத்ரா ஆஃப்டர் கம்ப்ளீட்டிங் கணேச புஜங்கம் சிவஸ்தோத்ரா தேவி ஸ்தோத்ரா ஸ்டார்டிங் வித் அம்பாஷ்டகம் ஆனந்த லஹரி அண்ட் நவ் வித் சௌந்தர்ய லஹரி வி ஆர் ப்ரொசீடிங் அஹெட் வி ஆர் இன் ஸ்லோகா நம்பர் ஃபைவ் ஆஃப் சௌந்தர்ய லஹரி ஹரிஸ்வாமாராத்தியிரணதனோயத்தோபிக்ஷோமனயத்மோபித்வாம்வாரதிநயனேஹியனவுஷாமுனீனாமியந்தபவதிமோஹாயமத்தாம் <coughs> ஹரிஹி தாம் ஆராத்திய பிரணதஜன சௌபாகிய ஜனனீம் இந்தி ஸ்லோகா ஆதிசங்கர பிரிங்ஸ் அவுட் தி ஸ்பெஷல் பிளெஸ்ஸிங் வித் ஹரி அண்ட் மன்மதா ஸ்மரஹா தீஸ் டூ அப்டைன்ட் ஃப்ரம் தேவி தி ஸ்பெஷல் பிளெஸ்ஸிங்ஸ் வித் தீஸ் டூ அப்டைன்ட் ஃப்ரம் தேவி பிரணதஜன சௌபாகிய ஜனனீம் that is the visheshana for devi qualifier for devi tvam he said na for tvam this is the qualifier those who prostrate to you to them you grant saubhagya good good luck good fortune and you are the mother granting that saubhagya vishnu did aradhana to you haristvam aradhya and then pura nari bhutva in ancient times he assumed the form of a woman pura ripum api kshobham anayate even pura ripu even parameshwara the enemy of tripura the destroyer of tripura even in him shobham anayat he brought about agitation of mind shobha is agitation by his extraordinary beauty of this assumed form of the woman vishnu was able to manage to create agitation even in the mind of puraripu smarari parameshwara how is that possible this was possible only because of the blessings of devi now there are uh, 12 devi bhaktas which are frequently mentioned in shastra literature uh, some mention 13 some mention 14 with a little difference first is maheshwara second is madhava third is brahma the trinity then manmatha then skanda then nandikeshwara then devendra then manu then chandra in fact certain shloka start with manu manush chandra kubera like that manu then chandra then kubera then agastya then durvasa these are the 12 personalities divinities and rishis who have been cited as special worshipers of devi people who have obtain special blessings of devi some of them have uh, been credited with special vidyas special mantras like panchadashakshari mantra like that now lopamudra's name is not in this 12 but certain 
combinations mention her and lopa mudra is credited with her own mantra hadi mantra we are now having kadi mantra as the panchadeshi mantra we will see that later Com commonly used panchadeshi mantra but uh, she proposed a slightly different one starting with hadi uh, hadi mantra then uh, manmadha has his own vidya his own mantra durvasa has made some changes to this mantra so everyone has contributed to this shakta upasana so so hari is one of the great personalities so no no surprise no wonder that he has got the special blessings of parameshwari in order to even produce agitation in the minds of parameshwara himself maro api tvam natva rati nayana lekhye nava pusha muni namah pyanta prabhavati hi moha ya mahatam maro api evan manmatha tvam natva having worshiped you having prostrated to you rati nayana lekhye nava pusha with a form with a body which was being licked by the eyes of rati that's how the translation goes that means rati with her eyes was able to drink the beauty of manmatha manmatha was so handsome that uh, rati is also extremely beautiful known for her beauty celebrated for her beauty even she could not but appreciate could not but enjoy the beauty of her own husband manmatha so such was the handsomeness of manmatha how did he get this how did he get this kind of handsomeness when he was reduced to ashes by parameshwara hara netragni sandagdha kama sanjeevan aushadhi so he was burnt to ashes by hara netra agni then like a sanjeevan aushadhi devi gave her a new form <clears throat> from the ashes she he, he got a new form this new form is so and some so with this new form mani mani nam apyanta prabhavati mani nam api antah even the hearts of munis munis are known for control of mind isn't it that's why they are called munis munis are manana shila that is why they are known as munis they are known to meditate on <coughs> bhagavan without any agitation in the mind without any distraction of mind that is why they are munis constant meditation is possible for them now even in them even in the minds of munis mahatam mohaya prabhavati not ordinary moha mahatam mohaya great delusion moha is delusion we have seen before moha is mistaking dharma for adharma and adharma for dharma So that is moha. So that kind of delusion of a very high extent, very powerful moha, that kind of moha was created even in the minds of Muni by Manmatha. How was it possible? Now, in the Vyakhyanas, they have specially mentioned here that as Vishnu as well as Manmatha performed special Sri Chakra Puja and with the chant of Panchadashi Maha Mantra. So it is the chant of that Japa. It is the performance of that uh, Sri Chakra Puja which has uh, got them this special blessing. In fact, there is a name which they have given. There must have been some special uh, procedure for this puja. So the, there is. Uh, so that uh, puja is named Manasa Sankshobhanam. Sankshobhanam means creating. We just know so Shobham Anayate, creating agitation in the minds. That, that is the purpose. That is the fulfillment of this puja. And this is uh, mentioned in a, there are. Uh, I was mentioning the other day that uh, Shakta literature is enormous. Out of the Shanmata. the highest fate of literature in terms of puja tantra etc you find only in even in navavaran how many devatas are there and then the dasha mahavidya these that endless array of devatas 
we are all talking of one shakti but ultimately the the the, the vinyasa puja is so uh, spread on a such a wide scale that the literature is enormous the puja tantra etc is enormous so there is one such uh, one such uh, book called prayoga paridatam so from that book this manasa sankshobhana puja is mentioned and this puja was uh performed by both vishnu and manmatha and this puja is also known as sarva bhashikaram and sarva kshobha karam the name it will convey and the benefit of this uh, shloka this mantra is sri purusha vashyam that is what they have given for every shloka every mantra we have been finding some mundane benefit spiritual benefits are different you now mundane benefit is Sri Purusha Vashyam, perhaps nowadays this is very much required because after marriage there is no certainty that the couple would live together. <clears throat> so, Vishnu worshipped you and you, who are you and who, who you are the mother granting good luck, good fortune to all those who prostrate to you. Vishnu worshipped you and uh, in ancient times, he became a woman and he created agitation even in the mind of shiva now this is the story from samudra manthana explained in shrimad bhagavatam and other puranas during samudra manthana for distribution of amrita when there was a tussle between devas and asuras vishnu assumed the form of a mohini well known story mohini and then he uh, finally gave the amrita to devas after some leela now this form mohini form was so beautiful that when shiva heard about it he came to vishnu asked him to show it again and when he showed it again he fell in love with that form he could not control his emotion this is what shrimad bhagavatam also records and there are other puranas that say that during that process harihara putra was born ayappa was born so this is the way vishnu got special blessing from devi for assuming such a beautiful form now manmatha also similarly having worshiped you he got a form which was enticing even in, even rati rati's eyes were drinking his beauty and he created tremendous amount of delusion in the minds of even munis that is why devi mahatmyam says jnani naam api kaitam si devi bhagavati hita balad akrishya moha ye mahamaya prayachati jnani naam api it starts even jnani they are not able to free themselves from this moha mahamaya leads you by force balad akrishya by force as if you are led by some unknown force your as if with your eyes closed you are going so being led somewhere that's the kind of moha you are led to so that's what happens even to me this is the, uh well this is a special blessing which you will get from devi with upasana concentrated upasana like these hari and mara have done with that special puja which i mentioned hari swam aradhya pranate janata ubhadya janani पुरा नारी भूत्वा पुरा रिपुम अपि क्षोभ मने यते मरो अपि त्वाम नत्वा रति नयन लेख्ये न वपुषा मुनि नाम अत्यंत प्रभवति हि मोहा य महताम धनु पौष्पम मौर्वी मधुकरमयी पंचविशिखाह वसंत सामंतो मलय मरुदायो धनरथः तथाप्येकमगिरीसुते काम कृपांगाते ल्वा जगदीदमनंगो विजयते नौ दिस इज द श्लोक एंटर्ली डिवोटेड टू मन्मथा जस्ट नौ वी सा मन्मथा वॉज एबल टू क्रिएट एजुकेशन एवन इन द माइंड ऑफ मुनी नौ दिस इज द फर्दर एलैबरेशन ऑफ दिस पवर now the emphasis in the shloka is on the instruments which he has for his action 
all his instruments are useless for a fight as a fighter he has no chance of winning any battle but he wins all battles that is the beauty then of pausch pam he has a bow which is made of flowers everyone has got a gandiva and all arjuna is having gandiva so very strong very powerful bow now here is manmatha with a bow made of only flowers maurvi madhukaramayi maurvi is the string bow string bow string is there is no string in fact there is a funny thing there is no string there is a row of honey bees madhukara is honey bee it makes honey so it's called madhukara so a row of honey bees look like a bow string that's what he is having pancha vishikha what about arrows he has got five arrows but all of them are flower arrows if you beat somebody with a flower arrow if you hit somebody how will happen nothing will happen he will be happy these five five or listed in literature as aravinda mashokancha chutancha navamallika neelotpalancha panchayite panchabanasya sayaka ha he is called panchabana in fact his name is panchabana one who has five arrows his arrows are lotus ashoka flower mango flower fresh jasmine mallika neelotpalam the blue lotus so these uh, five or his special arrows vasantah samantah when you go on a battle you need an assistant with you a minister samantah is minister now here he is having a minister who is vasanta ritu spring season so he is not available all the time he is available only for two months in a year with such a minister what will you do malaya marut ayodhana ratha ayodhana ratha is the chariot which you use in battle the battle chariot ayodhana is battle war that is the most important thing isn't it if you if you cannot move about in the battle field how will you perform your warfare so here is the chariot made of malaya marut malaya pavana malaya marutam the wind from malaya mountain we saw the other day in anand lahari that is special because all poet enjoy mentioning malaya marutam because it carries the fragrance of sandal trees so that is his uh, chariot that means it will come it will not come it may be there may not be there this kind of unsteady availability of his ratha तथाप्येकर्वम हिमगिरीसुते कामी कृपा हिमगिरीसुते अड्रेस पर्वतराजकुमारी देवी तथा सो दट शोज द वीकनेस ऑफ दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ वॉर फैर तथा ईवन देन ईवन दो नन ऑफ दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज गुड फॉर वॉर फैर एक अलोन इज एबल टू देर इज नो वन हू कैन डू दिस ही अलोन कैन डू दिस काम अभी कृपा दट इज द crux he has got some special kripa from you indescribable kramapi means something which i don't know something beyond words i have only words to describe i, I there no there are no words to describe the compassion which he has received at the hands of devi so kramapi kripa some special kripa he got te apangat labdha from your side long long he got special compassion from your side long long sarvam jagadidam anangaha vijayate anangaha because after he was retrieved from the ashes and given new life by devi she did not give him a form at all she was ananga without body without form uh, without form he is doing all this warfare that's the funny thing without form without a body he is engaged in battle but as a special case only for rati he was given a form which will be visible only to her because of the condition how this because generally you will find whenever some important curses are pronounced they are not withdrawn 100% even in the chandra we saw even daksha prajapati curse was not withdrawn 100% by shiva though shiva gave him a place on his head he said for 15 days you will grow for 15 days you will uh, dk so <clears throat> here also 
Ananga was reduced to ashes. He was brought back to life, but he was not given a form for normal purposes. He was given a form only visible to Rati. So that's why he is called Ananga, ha, without a body. Sarvam Jagadidam Vijayate. All the world, there is no exception. Sarvam. The emphasis is on Sarvam here. All the worlds, with no exception, including Deva Loka, including all Loka, whichever Loka you want to mention, all Loka, all inhabitants of all those, there, there, is, a, there is evidence, this is not uh, an exaggerated statement, there is evidence that in all the Loka, people have fallen to his uh, uh, machination. Vishwamitra fell, yes, such a great Muni fell to uh, Menaka's. Storms. So, like this, there are many, many stories here on earth and here, Devaloka and other places. That is why he says, Sarvam Jagadidam Anangaha Vijayate. So, this also, this itself, this shloka itself is a mantra for getting special powers of this kind of attraction. So, the fruit for this shloka is Sutra Santanam, and uh, this shloka is itself called Ananga Vidya. Shloka, Japa, every shloka is a mantra we saw, and there is a procedure, there is a special yantra, we saw all that for every shloka. So, for this shloka, the name is Ananga Vidya. Manmatha is the rishi for this vidya, and uh, by using this vidya only, Manmatha got this power. And, uh, Upasana, procedure, yantra, tantra, etc. are available for like other shlokas for this mantra also. Dhanu pauspam maurvi madhu karamayi pancha vishikaha vasantasamanto malayamaru dayodhanarasaha tatha pyekas sarvam himagirisute kamapikrapam apanga te labdha jagadidamanango vijayate Kvanat kanchi dama kari kalabhakum bhastana nata parikshena madhye parinata sharat chandra vadana dhanurbanan pasham srunimapida dhana karatalaihi purastada stam naf puramati turaho purushika. This is the description of Devi's form. The beauty of Devi's form. Well, we have been seeing Devi's form descriptions in various because Devi does not possess one single form, one single description. There are so many temples around us, and in every temple there is a special uh, form of Devi. So here is the description of that Triparasundari, whom this Saundar Lahari is a prayer to. Kwana Kanchi Dama Kari Kalabhapum Bhastana Nata Parikshi Namadhe Parinata Sarachandra Vadana Kwana Kanchi Dama Kanchi we have seen before is the waist band, the Vadyanam, which she is wearing in the waist. It is like a Dama, like a, like a string, like a string, like a belt. She is wearing that and it making beautiful sounds, Kwana because the, it has got small, tiny bells, and those tiny bells make beautiful, sweet sound. So, Kvanak Kanchi Dama Karikalabha Pumbhastananata. Karikalabha is a young elephant. The, the two um, temples on the top of the head of the elephant, the uh, Sana of Devi is Karikalabha Kumbha, like uh, two Kalashas like two kumbhas, like two parts, comparable to the two ele elephant temples. Because of the weight of this bosom, Nata, she is stooping in the front. Now, this is a standard description of Devi. We will find it most of the shloka. The ideal Samudrika Lakshana for a woman. Parikshina Madhye. Madhya means in the central part, that is the waist part. In the waist part, she is very emaciated, parikshena. That means very thin. That is another lakshana. Parinatesha, chandravadana. 
how is the phase the phase is like a autumnal moon because during sarad ritu during autumn season that is the best time for having darshan of chandra because chandra appears in all his glory there are no clouds and chandra shine is the greatest during that sarad ritu that is why sarad chandra vadana parinata means full moon because even during sarad ritu there is waxing and waning of moon isn't it there is a constant process but here we are talking about full moon the full moon of sarad chandra that is how the vadana looks like the face looks like धनुर्बाण पाशं सृणिम इन हर हैंड शी इज होल्डिंग धनुष मेड ऑफ फ्लावर्स वी सॉ ना इन द केस ऑफ मनमथा हियर ऑफ कोर्स इट इज नोन एज इक्षु कौदंडा द स्वीट शुगर केन इज द धनुष इन हर हैंड बाणाने शी इज आल्सो हैविंग फ्लावर एरो फाइव फ्लावर एरोस लाइक मनमथा इन फैक्ट ऑल दीस आर सिमिलर टू मनमथा पाशम सृणिम पाशा एंड अंकुशा पाशा एंड अंकुशा दीज आर टू स्टैंडर्ड थिंग्स विच यू फाइंड इन द केस ऑफ मेनी देवता मेनी देवता यू फाइंड पाशा एंड अंकुशा द रोप एंड द गोड द अंकुशा इज यूज एज अ गोड फॉर द एलिफेंट पाशा इज यूज फॉर Uh, tying someone, Pasha, rope. Now these are all required. Now how this Pasha and uh, Srini, that uh, gold, how they are interpreted is in Lalita Sahasra. Raga Swarupa Pasha Dhya Krodha Karan Kushojjala. It is the Raga which is Pasha, which is the which is the Pasha. Raga is attachment. We have seen before Raga Dvesha. So attachment is the rope which binds us to this world. That is that is what she is holding. So when you have darshan of Devi with our Raga as her uh, pasha, then our pasha will be lost. Similarly, krodha is another impediment in our spiritual progress, the greatest impediment. So that she is using as an ankusha, and she is holding it. मनोरूपेक्षु कौदंड पंच तन्मात्र सहायक दिक्षु कौदंड इज मन द मैंड एंड द फाइव एरोज और द फाइव क्वालिटीज ऑफ द फाइव ज्ञानेन्द्रिय शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंधम दिस फाइव आर नोन एज तन्मात्र दट गॉट ही सेइंग हियर पंच तन्मात्र साधिस ऑफ द फाइव फाइव एरोज दैट इज व्हाट एवर हैज बीन ट्रबलिंग अस इन आवर इंपेरिमेंट इन आवर स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्रेस Raga, Krodha, Manas, and the Pancha Tanmatra, the outer uh, attractions, outer out, outer world attractions, which come to us through the Indriyas. All of them, which are normal impediments to our progress, she is holding in her hand, so that when you have darshan and Devi, you pray that those do not come to us back. She has already taken those from us. That is the that is the way it has to be picturized. she has already removed all these impediments she is holding those impediments to demonstrate that those impediments are no more with you they are with her purasta dastam na puramasituh aho purushika purasta na purasta tu astam let her manifest herself before us that is the prayer i want to have darshan of her puramasituh aho purushika this is another description of devi puramath Matita who means of Parameshwara who destroyed the three puras. His Aho Purushika, Aho Purushika is what is known as Ahanta, the sense of I. When it is called Ahankara, it is associated with a negative tendency because Ahankara is putting you in a frame of mind. where you attach some importance to yourself as distinct from others that is ahankara whereas in the case of ahanta it is not that it is the sense of i no doubt but that sense of i you feel you have some power that power comes from devi that is your uh, because without the sense of power you cannot achieve anything in this world you cannot even lift your hand you cannot walk you cannot do anything without a sense of power 
some sense of power is required for every human activity now when you walk when you lift your hand when you speak if you realize that this power is not mine this power is ahanta which has been given to me by devi that is aho purushika aho purusha aho purusha he is wondering at uh, the manliness the power that he is having that is shiva now he realizes ah oh, this power is not mine this power has come to me from devi so even the power this ahanta now that is why parameshwari is known as para ahanta now the ahanta is with others with the three divinities and us human beings and great yani but para ahanta she is supreme because she also needs the ahanta for performing her duty so she is known as supreme ahanta now there are lot of explanations to all this we will not get into that now this uh, parameshwara is known as tripurantaka now that has come here paramakito ho now tedur subramanya shastri held in his book now uh, he doesn't uh, refer to the ordinary understanding of tripura the three cities or the three states of jagrat swapna sushupta etc we have just seen all those uh, in our earlier lecture now he is going in a different direction he is a tripura or the three bijaksharas of devi aim hrim shrim they are known as tripura that is why she is known as tripura there is one of the names of devi is tripura because these are the basic three uh, hrim is the, the most superior we have seen before aim hrim shrim these are the three basic bijaksharas and that is these are the references in the tripura now by churning these three bijakshara with his mind pura mathitu ho by mathana is churning by churning the three bijakshara in his mind shiva had darshan of devi that is why he is known as tripurantaka not because he destroyed tripura because he churned the tripura the three bijakshara and had darshan of devi this uh, upasana procedure is also explained it is not uh, an imaginary thing as usual he explains the procedure with the yantra tantra etc etc <coughs> so the form description that is he is having a beautiful a sweet sounding tiny bells in the kanchi in the adhyanam in her ways her uh, she is stooping down with the weight of her bosom which is heavy which is large like the temples of young elephant and she is having very thin waist and her face is like a full autumn moon and she is having bow arrows pasha srini pasha ankusha etc in her four hands may she manifest herself may she give darshan to me and she is the ahanta the sense of i of parameshwara kanat kanchi dama tarikala bhagam bhastana nata parikshi nam adhye parinata sharat chandra vadana dhanur banan pasham srini mapi dadhana karatalehi purasta dastam na puramasitu raho purushika सुधा सिंधोर्मध्ये सुरविटपि वाटी परिवृते मणिद्वीपे नीपो पवनवति चिन्ता मणि गृहे शिवाकारे मञ्चे परमशिव पर्यंक निलयाम भजन्ति त्वां धन्याः कति जन चिदानंद लहरीम now this is the description of lalita parameshwari in shripuram we have seen this in anand lahari and ambashtakam also shripuram is at the top of sri meru mountain and her residence is there in manidvipa and there are residences of brahma vishnu shiva around that place little lower than that place vaikuntha kailasa brahma loka etc and the eight lokapala lokas are also there in the eight direction below and then navagrahas are going round pradakshana of this meru mountain 
So that residence, that Manidvipa residence, where she is sitting, is now described. Her form there is being described. There is this description is just a, a tiny fraction of what you find in Purana. Devi Bhagavatam. There is a description which runs into three chapters. I think the Brahmanda Purana also it is there in a very extensive manner. There are twenty-five prakaras in Manidvipa before you reach the inner Chintamani Graha. Each prakara, who are all there, how it is, what does it look like, what are the trees. Who are the devatas, etc., etc. Very detailed description is available of this whole uh, phenomenon. And then finally you reach. Then after the initial five trees, which are also mentioned here, Suravite Pivati Parivrute. So there are five kalpaka and other five, five trees from Devaloka. There are five prakaras with those trees. Then there is there are prakaras of iron. Silver, gold, uh, and then the uh, Navaratnas, all the Navaratnas, each has Dugami as a kind, all that. Each of them has got its own prakara. Then there are special, uh, beautiful prakara. Then you finally land in this Chintamani Griha. So this is, where is it? This is in you know, a Manidvipa. And what is the ocean around this Manidvipa, not the salty ocean we have here? It is Sudha Sindhur Madhye, in the center of the ocean of Amrita. Sura Vitapi Vati Parivrite. There are gardens, what is garden? There are gardens surrounding this place, as I said, in five prakaras. In each prakara, you have a kalpaloka tree, kalpa, kalpa vriksha and uh, devaloka tree, kalpa vriksha, uh, santana, hari, kandana and so on. Mandara and so on. Manidvipe, nipo, pavanavati, in Manidvipa, this whole island is called Manidvipa, so shining, so brilliant. Nipa, opavanavati, nipa is kadamba, kadamba garden. Finally, you end up with a kadam, kadamba garden. In the kadamba garden, there is a Chinta Mani Griha, as we saw in, uh, I think, Anand Lahari, we saw, it is not made of ordinary brick and concrete like our houses, it is made of Chinta Mani. One Chinta Mani itself is capable of giving whatever you want, the moment you think of it. Now, this whole building is made of Chinta Mani stones. That is the house. There, inside, she is sitting on a cot. Kivakare Manche, the cot has got a bed spread on top. That bed spread is nothing but Shiva himself. Shiva has taken the form of a bed spread on the cot on which Ambika is seated. Now, Shiva is lying down with his head upward and he is looking at Devi in the form of that bed spread. And this cot has got four legs. And the legs are Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, and Ishvara. These are the four legs of that. And on the top of it is Sadashiva lying down as a spread. And again on the top of it, Sadashiva is seated in the, you may call him Kameshwara, Kameshwari, Kalita Parameshwari, Raja Rajeshwari, all refer to the same Devi. And uh, he is known as Kameshwara or Sadashiva. On his lap is seated Dalita Parameshwari. That is the description. Shiva kare manche parama shiva paryanka nilayam. The mancha itself is shiva kara. The court itself is of the form of shiva. And because we suggest no sauna, parama shiva paryanka nilayam. The paryanka, the bedspread is parama shiva again. Bhajantitvam dhanyaha katichana chidananda lahari. But what is the form of Devi who is seated there? There is no form. She is chiti ananda lahari. That is her form. Consciousness and bliss. Jnana and ananda. That is her form. That is that too a, a flood, a river in state with waves. That is the form. How can you have a form like that? You cannot have a form like that. She is having a form which has been described like last shoka, 
uh, various ornaments, various appearances have been described. If you take that form, that is only an outer uh, appearance. The inside of this form is Kriti Ananda. The inside is not like our Pancha Bhautika. We have seen all this before. It is not like our Pancha Bhautika Sharira with flesh and blood. It is made of Kriti and Ananda. Outer uh, appearance is what we saw in the last shloka and similar other shlokas of Devi's description. So, we must understand the essence. The essence is Kriti and Ananda. Now, who are able to go and have darshan and who are able to appreciate that this outer form is a deception and what is actually there is Kriti and Ananda. Who can identify this? Who can appreciate it? Bhajanti Tvam Dhanyaha Katikana Katikana Dhanyaha Some Punya Purushas Some people who are very fortunate who are very gifted they only are able to worship. So it is obvious not everybody can <coughs> aspire to have darshan of this kind of Devi's appearance. Now, she is also known as Pancha Brahmasana Sita. We saw in uh, just now the, the four legs and the feet. Sadashiva is the feet and all that. Now, <coughs> Uh, the benefit given for this chant of this mantra is Janana Marana Nivritti. What more is that? You get moksha or Kirindi Vitvam. You can live as long as you want. Now, how do you get Kirindi Vitvam and how do you get this moksha by chanting this mantra? They tell you as usual, explains this. He has gone into a very detailed explanation. We will understand the essence of it. Now, we are going to see, I think, next uh, so called, the six chakras in the human body, Shat Chakra. Now, from the Mooladhara Chakra, which is at the bottom, you take the Devi, the Kundalini Shakti, upwards to Swadhisthana and upwards. There are three mandalas there, Agni Mandala, Surya Mandala and Chandra Mandala. Chandra Mandala is in Sahasrara. You take Devi across the mandalas and then finally in Sahasrara on the top, Amrita Shavar takes place. There is a lot of effort before you reach that. A very difficult route. Once you have crossed this difficult route, succeeded, in reaching the destination, once you reach the destination, you have a shower of Amrita. Through all the 72,000 nadis in our body, now all these uh, chakras and nadis are not available in our uh, anatomy as we study in Western medical science or even in Ayurveda. They are not available. You, you, you can't see them, you can't feel them, you can't have any knowledge of them other than from Yoga Shastra treatises. So, these are things which have been found by yogis during their meditation. So, the 72,000 nadis, Amrita is showered and aspirant becomes Kiranjeevi or he gets moksha. Actually, there are uh, similarities with the Sripura description which I was mentioning. There are 25 prakaras and so on before you reach the Chintamani Griha. Now, all these have been identified in the human body also. The same 25 prakaras, the same Chintamani Griha. Of course, the, the Chintamani Griha is in the Sahasrara, Sahasradara, Padma, and the top. Now, the whole body can be considered as Sripuram. That is what yogis do. That is how they attain this everlasting bliss. And further, this Sripura description can also be assigned to several Kshetras in Bharata Deka. Each Kshetra can be associated with a certain feature of Sripura. This is this, this is this, this is this. This is the Hridaya. 
Chidambaram is the Hridaya, for example. So like that, Nabhi, Kanchepuram is the Nabhi, and so on. So these uh, Devis of uh, various Tripura parts can be identified as if in a human form, in the form of Bharata Desha. So like this, there are many Vyakhyanas available for the single Shloka Mantra. Again, as usual, this Shloka also has got its own Yantra, Tantra, Mantra, etc. How you get the benefit. Now, uh, as you saw, this, he says, no, you have to use this Kundalini Yoga to get this benefit. Just now we saw. Pusha Sindho Ormadhye Suravita Pivati Parivrute Manidvipe Nipo Pavanavati Sintamani Grihe Shiva Kare Manche Paramashiva Paryanka Nilayam Bhajantitvam Dhanyaha Katishana Chidananda Lahareem Mahi Mula Dhare Kamapi Manipure Hutavaham Thitam Swadhishthane Rudi Maruta Makasha Mupari Mano Pibru Madhe Sakala Mapi Bhitwa Kulapatham Sahasrare Padme Saharahasi Patya Viharase Now comes the detail of this Kundalini Yoga which was Obliquely referred there in the previous shloka by Tedior in his book. He inferred that. There is no direct reference. He inferred that for explaining certain concepts. Now, here is a direct description of the various chakras. Now, there are six chakras in the human body, starting from Muladhara chakra at the bottom and Ajna chakra in the forehead between the two eyebrows. Now, above that, above the sixth, beyond the sixth, is the seventh one, the Sahasrara Chakra, which is the thousand petals. Every chakra is associated with a lotus of certain number of petals, two, four, six, sixteen, etc. Now, this has got thousand petals, the Sahasrara. That is where Parameshwara is seated along with the full moon. This moon is never... Uh, uh, in Kala, this moon is always in full moon. This shower of Amrita from this full moon is present all the time between the, in the area between Ajna Chakra, that is in the brew, eyebrows area, and from there to the Sahasrara area. In that area, this shower of Amrita takes place. Now, the, the procedure in Kundalini Yoga, I'm just giving the outline only, because this is not the occasion or place. I am not qualified also to uh, initiate anyone into details. So, the, the Kundalini Yoga consists of taking Kundalini, the Shakti of Devi, who is in a form of a serpent, a coiled serpent, three and a half rounds, that is how Shastra describes. She is taken three and a half rounds in Muladhara Chakra. She is sort of sleeping there. You have to wake her up. That is the procedure. You have to take her in this Kulapatha, which is mentioning. That is the Sushumna Nadi. There are three Nadi, Vida, Pingra. We will not get into all that. There is one central Nadi, which connects this uh, Muladhara Chakra to the Sahasrara Chakra. There is one single path. That single Nadi is the path. So you have to take this Shakti, this uh, serpent, along along with you, uh, upwards, and then reach Sahasrara. That is the way. Now, in between, there are totally six chakras. Each chakra is an obstacle as well as a blessing. It's always like that, isn't it, in yoga? Every blessing is associated with an obstacle. Now, these obstacles are there because of our vasana. That is why there are also known as three granthis, three knots, six chakras, three knots and three mandalas complete the description of the path up to six chakras. Six chakras, three knots and three mandalas. For every two chakras, it constitutes one mandala. 
the lowest is amni mandala next is surya mandala next is chandra mandala then every two chakra there is a granthi there is a knot then brahma granthi vishnu granthi rudra granthi now brahma vishnu and rudra worship devi at the granthi constantly now when you take devi upwards on this path take means you have to control your breath kumbhaka and all that and you have to meditate there are certain guidelines now which you have to follow strictly as per the guidance of the guru then this kundalini rises take means you can't take kundalini rises and follows this path and when she goes to each chakra at each chakra you have to perform certain procedures rituals mentally all this is mental okay mind you there is nothing out out no, nobody will know whether you are doing this or not doing this you are only seated in padmasana and doing all this after all, yoga is like that isn't it this is kundalini yoga so at each chakra we have to mentally perform dhupa deepa naivedya etc and each chakra you have darshan of devi in a different format different form then as soon as you go to the sixth chakra which is in the eyebrow level that is called the ajna chakra where the ajna parameshwara parameshwara gives you darshan there he gives you ajna for for you to go up so that is the restricted area everything is restricted this is highly restricted this ajna to you may go up to ajna with some difficulty but you may find it difficult to go even further higher because once you reach higher you have attained the moksha you have attained the highest jnana ajna to sahasrara is the critical area where the shower of amrita takes place which we saw now just now that amrita spread all over 72000 nodes in the body etc so when you reach sahasrara so this kundalini devi meets with parameshwara they become one and they give you the blessing of moksha then you have to bring her down you have to bring the kundalini shakti down to moladhara the same procedure in a reverse form and she will go back to the uh, moladhara chakra this is and uh, each chakra is associated with some principle which is what is mentioned in this uh, with pancha bhutas and manas pancha bhutas pancha tanmatras and manas and also devatas like for example moladhara is associated with vinayaka and so on every chakra is associated with some devata vishnu etc now with this background we will try to go through the shloka mahi muladhare kamapi manipure hutavaham sitam swadeshthane hridi marutam akasham upari <coughs> muladhare mahi in the muladhara chakra which is at, right at the bottom of the spine there it is called moladhara chakra that is prithvi tattva mahi means prithvi earth uh, the first of the pancha bhutas prithvi tattva is gandha shabda sparsha ropa rasa gandham gandha is the tanmatra of prithvi so that is the tattva there for that means every one of the tattvas you are going through and you are subordinating your tendencies connected with the tattva because we have vasanas coming down to us from various crores of janmas they are all connected with some of one of these tattvas isn't it you want to see somebody you want to hear somebody you want to go through certain experience etc etc so they are all associated with this kind of thing after all we are all at body level we are not at spiritual level so body is associated with pancha tattvas pancha tanmatras so your references to those hidden feelings which we have you have to overcome them then only kundalini shakti will rise so first you have to overcome prithvi tattva then next you go to kamapi manipure kam is water jala jala tattva that is in manipuraka in fact it is not next to that manipuraka is the third chakra next to swadishtana chakra for which agni is the tattva but in the process of creation and in the process of involution this is the way it goes isn't it first akasha then <coughs> vayu then agni then jala then prithvi so prithvi jala and agni is the sequence but here he is taking in the case of chakras 
chakras are changing there, in the, the sequence is changing there. That is why he is following the standard procedure. After Prithvi, he is going to Jala, which is the, the third chakra, Manipuraka chakra. <clears throat> Manipuraka is at uh, Nadi level. Then you have Kamapi Manipure, Hutavaham, Stitam, Swadishthane. Hutavaham is Agni, we have seen before, because he carries whatever we offering of, we offer to Devas, Huta. Vaha, he carries and gives to Deva, that is why he is known as Hutavaha. Now, Agni is the Tattva in Swadhishthana, that is in between Nabi and uh, Guda. And uh, Hridi, Marutam, Akasham, Upari, after this we go to the fourth chakra that is in Hridaya, Hridi, that is called the Anahata chakra. There, Tattva is Vayu, Marutam. Akasham Upari, next is Akasha Tattva, which is Vishuddhi Chakra, which is at the throat level. Then the final sixth chakra. We have crossed five chakras, five tattvas, Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasa, Gandha. Akasha Tattva is Shabda. So we have gone through all this. And we have crossed the three mandalas, Agni Mandala, Soma Mandala, and Chandra Mandala continues above uh, Ajna Chakra also as we have seen before. And uh, we have crossed the three Granthi, three knots, Brahma Granthi, Vishnu Granthi and Rudra Granthi. This is mentioned in um, Velika Sasnam also beautifully. Mola Dhare Kanilaya, Brahma Granthi Vibhedini. So every Granthi you have to break. Manipura Antarudita, Vishnu Granthi Vibhedini, Ajna Chakra Antaralastha. Now, having reached uh, the last chakra, Ajna chakra, in the center of the eyebrows, Bhru, Madhye, Mano, P, there the tattva is Manas. Because Manas is a, at the back, we saw no Shatpadi the other day. Manas and the five Indriyas are to be controlled. They are the ones who can create obstruction on our spiritual path. So that is. The last one, the most powerful one is Manas, the mind. Bhru Madhye Sakalame Pibhitva Kulabhatam Sahasra Re Padme Saharati Patya Viharati. Now, he is mentioning six chakras, but that is the, the chakras only may not be the abstraction. There may be other, that's why he is putting Sakalam. There are Granthis, for example, we saw just now, knots and so on. So, Kula Patham is that path from the Mola Dhara up to this eyebrow and above. So Sakal Amapi Bhitpa, all this has to be broken and uh, the path has to be cleared for Kundalini Shakti to go up to rise. Then, when she rises, what happens? Sahasra Re Padme Saharasati Patya Viharate. In the Sahasrara, thousand petaled lotus in the Brahmarandra in the Dwa, these are the various names. Brahmarandra, Dwadashantam at the top of the head. So there is this location, Sahasrara, Chakra. That is also known as the Chakra, seventh Chakra. There, Shiva is there with the full moon, shedding, spreading Amrita. So Sahasra, Repadme, Rahasi in secret. Patya Saha with your husband, that is Shiva. Viharase, you are enjoying, you are sporting. So you are sporting in secret. Why is he saying in secret? Because everything is secret. Is it available to us? Is it available to ordinary people? You can only read about it. Try to understand it in a bookish form. But to experience it is not within our power. So it is the whole thing is Rahasya. And this final union of, as I said, it is only for certain very special adhikaris. Is available, not for everyone. Even those who are doing Kundalini Yoga, ordinary practitioners of Kundalini Yoga, cannot achieve the last stage, isn't it? It's obvious. Because that is the stage where you get moksha, you're, you get the shower of Amrita, where actually Kundalini Shakti is in union with Shiva. That union is actually sacred, a sacred place. So, supporting there. So, the six tattvas and the six to Tattva was the Manas, the five Tattvas or the Prithvi, etc. with those Tanmatra, Shabdas, Parsha, Roparasa, Gantham. The sixth is Manas, 
and all this has to be cleared with path. All the granthi, all the path has to be cleared. That is called the kolapatha, the the pathway, and this whole process is called antaryaga or amaya chara puja. Antaryaga is uh, not difficult to understand because you are doing everything mentally. There is nothing bhakya, so it is a yaga which you do antaha inside. Samaya chara puja, because whatever you do mentally is known as samaya chara in shakta language. If you do it outside in Sri Chakra, you establish a Sri Chakra and do a Bhakshya Puja, a visible Puja with your hands, then it is called the Kaula Puja, Kaula Chara Puja. These are two basic differences, Kaula Chara and Samaya Chara. Then we have uh, this uh, Kundalini is Arohanam. We have seen now, Avarohanam we will see in the next shloka, going up and going down. Now, this Mooladhara, every chakra has got a special name, isn't it? Manipura, Swadhishtana, and they have got reasons, they have got explanations. Uh, we are not going to all of that, but Mooladhara is very interesting, so we will see that only. Sarvadhara Mahi Yasmati, Mooladhara Tayaschita, Tadabhave Tudehasya. Now, earth is the support for all of us, isn't it? Earth is the solid support for all of us. Earth is the tattva at Moladhara. So, Moladhara, the foundational, the basic support, just as earth is for us, because that is, got, that is associated with earth tattva, that is why it is called Moladhara. Sarvadhara, Mahi, Yasmati, just as the earth is support for everything, that is why it is called Moladhara. Now, if Moladhara Chakra is absent, let's say, is not there, then the body will fall down, or it will go up, it will not remain stable on earth. We are doing all our activities, standing stably or sitting stably on earth, isn't it? Earth is our base. You can't do that if Moladhara Chakra is not there. That is the great sense of, like this, every chakra has got its own speciality. Mahim Mooladhare Kamapi Manipure Hutavaham Sitam Swadhishthane Hirdi Madhutam Akasham Upari Manopi Bhru Madhye Sakalamapi Vitva Kulapatham Sahasra Re Padme Saharahasi Patya Viharase We close for the day. We continue tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. IST. Please join me in this Jnana Yajna, this great festival, this great bliss. The shower of bliss of Soundary Lahari. Uh, any questions? No questions, Mama. No questions. So we close for the day. Please let us meet again tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Nama Parvati Pataye Harahara Mahadeva Sri Raja Rajeshwarya Jaya Jaya